If you're thinking about moving cross country or long distance with your pets, especially cats, you'll wanna watch this video. We moved from Long Beach, California to North Carolina with three cats that are about 12 pounds each. And they're not exactly traveling companions. They barely make it to the vet without like driving us insane meowing all the way there. So we're just really wondering how this is gonna work out. So what we did was we bought this small animal playpen that fills up the back of our car. Well, we got this portable, they call it like a chicken coop that you can go outside and have chickens or small animals outside. And it's got this cool door right here on one, two, three, four, five, four sides. So one here, one on the front, and then two on the sides. So we have, uh, we measured the, our Kia Sportage, and it said that it'll fit. Well, okay, we're off by a couple of inches, but because this is, you know, real squishy, it's in there. So, the back gets squished a little bit, but not much. So what we did to give body to it is, <laughs> thank you from our um, last termite inspection where they, they use these things to hold the termite grips. up, the grips. We're just gripping this at various different spots to and give it a little bit of body. It's tied down. And we bought him a couple of cubbies, uh, little foldable pet cat houses that they can, you know, stay in. And then in the oh. back, we're gonna put the kitty litter tray and go from there. Another thing you're gonna wanna do when you get this cat carrier is let them get used to it. Let them get accustomed to what it's like. So what we did was we put it down in our living room, we put it in our bedroom, and we just let the cats play in it. We put their toys in it, we put the cubbies in it, and we even, you know, put some little meowy wanna in it a little bit to make them happy. But they were getting used to it over a month and it wasn't a big deal when they actually got in the car. So that's a really important thing to do is just let him get used to an environment. All right, so the challenge to uh, the test is how to get the cats into the enclosure without freaking them out. And the important thing is we're not too worried about around our house because even if they got loose, they don't, they just run back into the house. It's when you're on the road in the middle of a rest stop out in the middle of nowhere you don't want your cat like bolting and, you know, never to find it again. So one of the things that we are going to test is you bring one cat into the vehicle, you shut the doors, and basically put the cat in through this where the door is here and let the cat go back and meow or whatever they're going to do. And we'll get the second cat, bring the second cat out, until we get all three cats in there, zip it up, and then we're gonna hit the road for four hours and see what happens. Another consideration when you're traveling with pets is to potentially um, get some sort of a CBD oil for them and give that to them prior. Just follow the directions on that product. Um, we were advised to do that from our vets and also from the pet store, so we did, and it's really helping calm them down. So now let's go check out what the test drive is like. This makes us very happy. Our cats are totally chilling. There's Loco. Loco! Right there. And Kelly and Dexter and their little cubbies. And for the most part, they're, they're chilling. Yeah. They're not minding it too much. Could have been in that half pound of marijuana and the three brownies I gave them earlier. <laughs> I accidentally dropped like about a quarter cup of meow, meow iwana in their cage. I, I wonder if that has something to do with it. 
can cats overdose on catnip? I don't know. Mm. But she loved it. Callie loved it. She had no problems. She was easy to travel around and she's looking forward to more. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was successful. We are super happy that all worked out. Uh, we're going to take them on a couple more little couple hour jaunts before we actually head out for the main trip. Um, and then what we plan to do is probably drive for maybe five, six hours a day and stop, give the cats a rest and um, see how it goes on our trip out to North Carolina. Anyway, stay tuned for more. We're going to have more information about how it is to travel with pets, what the move is like, and hopefully lots of fun things in North Carolina.